Yum, yum! Hey, this is Ed Ferrari from Pixel Fondue, and I thought I would share a quick tip uh, for getting displacement to work uh, with a texture offset effect. Um, so I have a plane here, and I have the Pixel Fondue logo uh, assigned to the plane. Uh, it's just this image map here that I've inverted, and I've uh, set the repeat uh, to 3x3. Three three. Uh, and then I also have this multifractal layer, uh, which is just like a soft multifractal. And both the multifractal and the Pixel Fondue logo are set to diffuse color. Um, but if I set the multifractal's effect to be um, texture offset, and then I come over to the, uh, the image map of the Pixel Fondue logo, and in the texture locator, change the texture offset strength uh, from zero, which is the default, to one, um, we can start to see the multifractal sort of influence the Pixel Fondue logo. Um, so let's just say this is the effect that we want, but now we want to displace this. So the white pixels uh, push outwards or displace from the surface of the plane. Um, what you would think to do would be to come over to the diffuse color uh, in the effects column and change that to uh, surface shading displacement. But while that displaces, um, we're no longer seeing the texture offset effect. So all of these pixel fondue logos are actually uh, pristine. They're not being uh, affected or warped by the texture offset. Um, so what we need to do is we need to uh, add a gradient layer. Uh, this is kind of the workaround. So I'll come over to add layer, go to processing, gradient, and then this gradient is actually going to be the uh, displacement effect, but we won't change the effect uh, right now. First we'll come over to the um, image map and we'll change this from displacement to shader control driver A. So it's no longer displacing. And now in the gradient, uh, we'll change the gradient effect from diffuse color to surface shading displacement. And then in the gradient layer properties, we'll change the input parameter from incidence to shader control driver A. Um, so now there's a link between this input parameter, which is driver A, and the image map whose effect is set to driver A. And then in the gradient, we just have to uh, change the values. So I'll add a key in the value. And then now I have two keys. And I'll just make sure the first key is black. So now we're getting displacement. Um, but the displacement is actually um, respecting the, uh, the texture offset from the multifractal. And uh, this curve is worth playing with. Uh, you can get different kind of effects, which is really nice. Yum, yum!